Harmony OS PC hands-on experience. Five key questions answered clearly in one video. One, what does the interface look like? Harmony OS PC starting up. The boot animation of this Harmony OS is very classic. Flowing particles gradually converge into Harmony OS, full of sci-fi feeling like a galaxy. At the bottom, it says, powered by Open Harmony. The UI design of Harmony OS has a bit of both Mac and Windows flavor. The desktop can be set to two layouts. You can set the top status bar to display time, network, and quick settings control center, or you can set it to display in the bottom right corner. The bottom dock bar can hold frequently used applications. On the left, you can place application shortcuts to desktop widget. Touching applications is quite stress relieving. The circle button in the bottom left corner is somewhat similar to Windows Start button. The file management interface also resembles Windows. Quick access to folders on the left and you can preview on the right. The style of the settings interface is unified with the Harmony OS family style. In terms of special effects, maximizing, minimizing, left-right split screen, switching background application bars, and when the mouse hovers over an application, there is a blurred halo effect. If you prefer minimalism, you can also turn it off. Additionally, in terms of functionality, it has a task manager like on Windows and also an application force quit like on Mac. The buttons on the Harmony OS PC are also quite special. There's a Celia smart button on the keyboard, allowing you to summon Celia with one press. On the right side, there's an added super privacy button. When enabled, it prohibits applications from accessing the camera, microphone, location, and other information. Two, is it smooth to use? Tested by continuously launching applications, basic window operations, and browser pages, the graphics run quite smoothly and the animation process is smooth and coherent. The process can be interrupted at any time. What surprised me most was that opening a 1 gigabyte file with WPS only took one second, which can be said to be very smooth. Three, are commonly used software application compatible? As a new system, everyone's biggest concern is definitely the software ecosystem. After all, Windows has 700,000 applications, so how many can Harmony OS cover? Tests found that the Harmony OS App Store has already listed hundreds of native applications, including mainstream software like WPS, CapCut, QQ Music. Even video platforms like Douyin and Bilibili have completed compatibility. Watching videos is not a problem. WeChat and QQ are not yet compatible, so we still need to wait. Four, is it convenient to operate? Harmony OS has two major features on the operating system. One is cross-device collaboration. The well-established multi-screen collaboration is naturally not left behind. In addition to this, one set of keyboard and mouse it can simultaneously control a computer, phone, and tablet, and it can automatically detect the user's face direction for shared keyboard and mouse screen control. Tasks on other devices can also be seamlessly switched. You can also adjust it in the application to a phone or tablet for taking photos. This boundless device experience is like magic, subverting traditional operating logic. Second is the deep integration of AI with the system. Just one sentence can make Celia perform complex operations like this. Celia, help me change the mouse color to red, turn on dark mode, and help me record the screen. In addition, Celia can split documents and convert document formats just like this. Five, is it worth buying? The new Harmony OS PC is even lighter than the previous generation flagship X Pro, weighing only 970 grams and the screen looks very clear. 3.1K resolution, 120 hertz high refresh rate, peak brightness of 1000 nit. Battery life is 10.2 hours. For us ordinary consumers, we need to weigh the maturity of the ecosystem. Uh, let's assume, if you mainly use this office suite plus light entertainment, then the Harmony OS PC experience is already excellent enough. But if you heavily rely on professional software, then it is recommended to wait and see. Alright, that's all for this video. See you next time.